Welcome to Shag. This is part two of Kirby's Dream Land 3, the game that I just started playing on Christmas. Oh yeah, that's right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Unless you don't celebrate Christmas in case of that, please keep all hands in the vehicle at all times and exit left on the stage. Okay, so here we were doing things that I was doing and killing flying guys by running into them as a hot air balloon, which is a very um, effective way of dealing with your problems. If you have problems that are flying and access to vehicle tr vehicular transport, which might be able to deal with them. But that was a long string of words that may or may not have had meaning to you. So let's continue on with Kirby's Dreamland 3, which I already introduced. This is a game where I have completed the level right after I stopped the last video. That's very great. Freeze frame, ho! And then we get a second Hearthstone. We can get rid of this stupid blob crap in the next level. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. I am just merely not completely complete today. Oh boy, this is the first level with this stupid minigame that I get to abuse the pause function with. Screw you, choo-choo. I am a free man. I do not require your brain-sucking tendencies. Spark! hi -ya! Actually, what's choo-choo spark? Let's find out. Whoa, that's pretty awesome, actually. Laser gun! Ah ha 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 Okay, choo choo sucks. Never mind. Let's go forward and destroy, cause that's what we do, cause we're Kirby and we hate you. La da da do 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 And we have a fish and an owl. Kind and cool. The comedy duo of the new century. But first, let us demonstrate how they have nerfed light bulb missiles into the gates of oblivion or jaws of oblivion which you should shut look it's not a missile anymore and what's more it shatters and leaves the fish wobbly in his mouth Fishu! screw you fish we're going to go with a drum roll please owl gets Sorry, I had to. But let's go forth into the room wood, the, the place with the blocks and the stuff. Owl Spark is very good. Like, extremely very good. Especially for this level. Where I can just sort of, like, zap everything without repercussion or anything that might be bad, such as repercussion. Ooh. And life get. Okay, enough with the X get. This is not Japanese Mario games. Resisting urge to save state for no reason. At this point, using an owl allows us to use the analog stick for a actual good use, which is not stupid in this game, because usually the D-pad is a better idea for a Super Nintendo game, but the owl has a 3D sort of-ish, like, movement plane. And by 3D, I mean he can move diagonally exceptionally well. Oh god. It was one with the eye. Okay, I'm going to abuse save states here. And possibly the pause key, which doesn't seem to be working. I guess there isn't a pause key in this one. It was... Whoa! It has two eyes of some sort. Let's try this one. No! It's this one! Oh, that was the best mini game ever. The reason I don't... I want to abuse this is because I really don't like these mini games. I'm not particularly adept at seeing things at a fast pace, even though I just seem to have disproven that myself. But later on, there are worse minigames, such as how many of the yellow ones are there, when there are like 50,000 guys ever in the screen. And so here we must... Oh, great, I save stated. Crappy instinct. Okay, okay, anyways. So here we're scrolling downwards, against my will, and we have to fly with the owl to zap all the porcupine boars, whatever they are. And we get a little star. So let's keep going. Here we have more, uh, more manual scrolling, which is the opposite of auto scrolling. And we have cannons for the first time, also known as shotzos. Actually, they're mostly known as shotzos. They're also known as cannons. But here we have bouncy things who are being zapped by my zappy gun. And that's the end of the level. That was a very short level, and we have to actually it wasn't really very short. It was just a short distance between the stupid mini game and the heart star. But in, the, in any case, we are leaping for victory. Why can't the owl just fly to the proper spot and then pick up the desired item with his talons of death? But, I don't know. 
Here we have a level where we have to go in a specific direction in order to rescue a monkey from a fire-breathing fireball. And that is a weird requirement for a level. Oh, secret star thing, which doesn't really help that much. Here we are outside. It's a lovely place. Filled with sun and not inside. That is... Oh, you can fly this time. It's very slow moving. But this is Owl Rock. And in order to make use of it, you must drop down on your enemies from above. And he, uh, the owl becomes overcome with the weight of Kirby. That's a guy who is dripping water on us. He needs to fix his leaky valve. Might as well have that. It's better than nothing. Uh, has a little bit of splash damage. Or dirt fall damage. I don't know. That looks bad. Please go back down, Mr. Guy. Mr. Kabu. I want to say your name is Kabu for some reason. Uh, maybe I've read it on an internet somewhere. Let's eat a bat. That seems like to be the greatest dream of all my mankind. And words. C c no, don't say it. Don't make catchphrases. Okay, this is one of the reasons that I'm using the old Super Nintendo ZSNES simulator rather than the new one. See this water here? In the new one, it's completely gray. Opaque. Not see through a bowl. So you have no idea what you're doing, naturally. And that would be a very bad thing to do in any game. Here we have a Mr. Cop. Whoa, bat sucking on my owl. Get off my owl. It's my owl, not your owl. Get your own owl. Anyways, here we have a cutter enemy who gives us this thing. Notice how instead of three wing shooting things, it is only one this time. They seem to have nerfed a lot of the game's stuff. Although the owl is rather skilled for being able to turn 360 degrees while still grabbing onto Kirby. Ah, yes, we have more buddy partners. What is Cutter with this thing? Oh my god, it's a giant spinning axe of death. Let's get rid of it. Okay. And because Nago is the best cat ever, we are going to grab him. And maybe he will make so much damage. Which is a reference to one of the YouTube comments I got. What a meta humor that was. Okay. Now we're invincible because invincibility is the option you get when you eat candy, because candy is invincible. Whatever that means. I don't know, let's keep going, because we're Nago, and we can smash you and kill you and stuff. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, we need rock. This is the part of the game where you need to rock, rock on in order to get to the boss, and that is exactly what we were doing. I mean, mini boss. It's not the boss. The boss is, of course, not in the first level that's not the last level. This is the mini boss. His name is Mr. On Fire. I don't know what his real name is. Perhaps we'll find out during the credits, which are only like 20 videos away from this one. And to defeat him, we spit his stupid crap fire back at him. This is very amazing. It's an exciting, enthralling boss fight, which allows you to witness the sheer glory of King, um, not King DDD's, not minions, in their greatest intelligent capacity. Running into walls repeatedly and shedding every time they do. Here is the monkey. This is a monkey. Remember him well. Because now he is in our inventory of something. I don't know, we don't really have an inventory. But the goal of the level was to save a little girl's monkey thing which does the dance for you at the end of the level. Because that totally makes sense in the context of the rest of the level. I wasn't the one writing this script. Take it up with George Lucas, who wasn't the one writing this script either, but... But still. Okay, so we have guys on the ceiling who are trying to ambush us by being in plain sight, but not in plain eye. Mind. Whatever I said. Okay. Wait, we're gonna just wait for this guy, because timing is key. In order to survive, you must not die, and that is how everything works. In the real world. Oh, I want those stars. Give me the stars, Mr. Gordo. You will not fear make me. I will get my prize. Of lucky charms one of these days. These guys are in the ceiling. They are in the ceiling. That is what they do. It's in their job description. Besides that, they are nothing spectacular. Perspiration. Words that make syllables come together like a family. Okay. More guys that we can kill for stars and then accidentally run into because we're dumb like that. Yeah. Hey, look, it's a one-up. It's made of free lives. No, Nago. That is a wall. 
do not endure your pudgy little adorable cat head on it by my command. You should know better than to listen to every stupid thing that I input into this controller button. What's over here? We're outside again, and there's more bats, because you can never go wrong with bats, although you can usually generally go wrong with too many bats. Max Tomato, I'm going to ditch the fire, because I'm kind of bored of it. Oh no, it's a Gordo Obstacle Course sponsored by Skechers. You better keep your athletics up, or else you're going to have to eat Wheaties for a month, kid. Oh no! Anyways, Dancing Monkey, or rather Eating Something Monkey. And a Heart Star. I think these are probably a reference to some sort of 8-bit Japanese game, because they're noticeably less the same quality. But, okay, we're done with this video. Oh my god, the time is running out while I stop it. Yes, I will. This has been Shag Part 2.